Well, hello and good afternoon, Gutter Babes. Yes, it is me, Shiv Babe. And Shiv Babe is back to entertain you with my favorite beauty channel. So all I'm gonna tell you is I'm getting Siobhan's Beauty Bar back on YouTube. And what I'm doing is today, I'm just gonna give you a wee trailer, a wee trailer on a bit of eyeshadow and a little bit of eye makeup, just to show you what I'm basically going to be doing in the next wee while. As you know, I'm a glamour puss and um, these are my glitter babes. And I will be taking you through things like brow makeup, eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner, contouring, lip colour, everything that you want to know about everyday babes right through to ticking that through to evening glamour. Now, I should focus on the camera, by the way, when I'm at it there, that would be a good thing. But my camera's at the side here. So what I'm gonna do is basically, for my little trailer today, and just to let you know what I'll be up to, and give you an idea what I'll be up to, I'm just putting on a wee bit of concealer here, which as you know, ladies, we can use eyeshadow primer as well. But the beauty about concealer is you can pick something that's nice. And uh, usually most eyeshadow primers are kind of very light color, but this little one, that's just a little note concealer. And um, what it does is it not only evens out all those dark circles and things around the eye here, but um, it gives a nice base to put your eyeshadow on, okay? Just bring it down there as well, okay? Bring it all around because then you can put on your foundation and all you know and that's for another day though today we're just going to do a simple eye right up to the eye up to the brow bone with that concealer okay as you see how long did that take two seconds and let me tell you for all you who have been asking me and inundating me with requests when i'm going to start siobhan's beauty bar again it has officially started so there you go now we're only going to use a few wee brushes now i'll take you through my brushes some other day but today all we're going to use is this beautiful little eco tools it's a little flat brush here on one end and it's got a little point on the other end we've got a nice uh other blank canvas nice brush it's got it's a double-ended brush and that's for eyeshadow and that there's another lovely lovely blender brush there it's beautiful it's like a shady blender brush also you could use that for concealer and here's another little eco tools uh you can see it it's double ended as well brilliant for the eyebrows there as is this one with the little point i'll show you why in a second and then another little blank canvas it's more of a, a kind of flat one there just another flat brush anyway what we're going to do we just use that wee blank canvas brush there okay as i say i'll take you through brushes another day perfect for concealer as is that one and a lot of wee smaller brushes are and as long as it's nice and soft you can also put it on with your finger like that there okay anyway we'll get on with eyeshadow so what we'll do is um have a lovely cheeky lip color on the day too by the way ah uh, isn't that gorgeous that's a clinic lip color i'll tell you that some other day uh, it's really bright and vivacious and it's great and because it's a blue red it shows off the white in your teeth quite nicely but anyway we're going to start now I'm a great advocate of blank canvas I love all brushes and I love all eyeshadows love all lipsticks but this is brilliant it's as you can see it's well used it's my blank canvas master series okay and uh, why, why I'm using this is because it's brilliant for everyday natural colors but it can also take you through tonight so what i tell you what i'm going to do first we're going to do a wee bit some people start with a highlighter you can start with a highlighter and today because um we'll, we will start with a highlighter just so that we'll take you through the colors so what we'll do is we'll go from light to dark, just up here okay so what i'm using is this beautiful color here called lily and uh, I'm going to do that and just start midway up, right? Take it up to the brow bone, just over a wee bit, because you don't want too much there. By the way, I should have done that. Dust off your product as well before you apply it. Now, what I'm going to do is just take it down at an angle, down in there, and to the inner corners of the eye, okay? And along a wee bit. That, that actually lifts up 
and out the inner corners of the eye as well which can become very dark sometimes with eyeshadow and different things so there's a nice space there okay now as you know we're going to put the eyeshadow on here and the 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 lighter colors here uh the lighter browns and the dark browns out here the cocoa cocoa browns so what we'll do is we'll just um we'll just leave that there like that okay so that's your first now you can see how quickly this will be done then what i'm going to do is just get one of my wee eco tools i set brushes and i'm going to put it on to this color here okay and that is a uh, hickory okay i'm going to mix it a wee bit with corruption as well but i think for daytime hickory is perfect on its own because it's a nice cocoa brown now what do you see the quick this will show up and this is why all you women who are afraid of applying makeup and think oh my goodness i couldn't do that i'll look like a boxer with all this eyeshadow on that is nonsense look what do you see how effective just the sweet bit of cocoa is now what do you see this what do you see here and I'm, I'm i'm showing you how quickly it can be done i'm going to do it as quick as possible as well as talking so there you are you've got your outer corners done okay that's the out in, into the socket so we'll just do that again for you we'll put it onto um hickory tap off the excess and just in the socket of that okay and along there we are you can just go like that wee bit if you want to just to get into the socket and along the baseline a wee bit there and, and a wee bit okay end of story now the next thing you want to do is get a nice light color so we'll, we'll i can either get our other uh uh eco tools brush here the wee fluffy brush or my black canvas brush so what i'm going to do i'm just going to put it onto now this lovely color here called brazen now it's a lovely lovely orangey peachy color okay because it's daytime makeup you don't want to be putting on tap off your brush you don't want to be putting on too much dark colors here now if you look at that look at that effectiveness already look at that look at that and anyway there's another one there at the bottom called strut underneath brazen and that's equally as brilliant and then you can just blend it a wee bit like that there now do you see what i'm doing i put the light colored one in there i've put the dark shade of one into the crease of the eye and the outer corners and now i'm putting brazen and uh, strut in this part of the eye okay now you just want to take it out a wee bit now don't hold your brush like that like a pencil don't hold it in the middle hold it at the end and you'll find as you get on th with things, you get so used that you realise you do have more control over your brush. And it's because you want wee light circular movements, okay? So what we're doing is just we blend the now the socket line and the outer socket line and that lovely light colour you put on earlier on. This is, you know, this is only a base, you know, see when you get more adventurous and all more confident. You can go whoa and just get get going with it like you know but as i say we're just um just tap it off there you can also put a wee bit of excess um loose powder and under your eye here if you want to start with now at my age i'm 48 now but see my age group of women anything over 40 to 50 you do not want to be putting loads of eye color and under your eye like mascara and stuff it's just so so it's very heavy looking and it can actually age you and make you look older so what you want to do is just get your wee stubby brush like i do um now here we go again as you can see it's well worn this palette but i love it i love it blank canvas now with that eyeshadow what do you see what i'm going to do now i'm just going to put it in there a wee bit okay this is enough for older age woman even if you're younger and you don't want to be putting on layers of mascara it also essentiates your eyes when you put on now look at that that's all that's all i don't actually suit too much uh, i just blend it up then a wee bit like that there i don't actually suit too much um 
stuff and too much dark stuff and when I when your hair, fair hair too what I'm going to do again is dip it into corruption there at the end has not a great name and just when I'm doing that saying you've done your wee bit of eyeshadow this is like a, a dark brown watch this is what you can do with your eyebrows now if you've already got great eyebrows you can also use like an old mascara wand a dead mascara wand I call it one that the colors practically out of and you can brush them up or you just use as I say if you've got a good eyebrows you can use like a gel um, a clear gel you know and that's lovely isn't it now that's okay but that's just using the wee stubby side of my fluffy brush my equal tools okay but what you want to do as well is um, I'll just show you now the beauty about doing the videos is like this is like they're not flipping slapdash and they're jumping from one video to the next and you don't see what they're done I'm just ticking you right through it like you know from basics anyway I'm doing it really slow today and I'm trying I'm doing it really slow as opposed to what I would do but I'm trying to do it in a way that you would get the, the, the hint of what I'm trying to say so look at that compared to the other one do you know what I mean that's really lovely and there's me fair haired but you know what that's that's dark enough there that's dark enough and anyway that's a nice wee bit of eyebrow definition okay now isn't that very pretty now the next thing we're going to do we're just going to get a wee mirror okay uh, I think there's a wee fly friend just going by there. We're going to get a wee mirror and look into your mirror and from below, just look into your mirror, okay? And without trying to do all the great frowns that we do with our, our, our forehead, just wiggle, take your, your brush, your mascara wand brush, and just wiggle a wee bit, okay? Uh, underneath the top lashes. Now, there we are. Now look at that, look at that. That is just beautiful. Now that there, as I say, I'm doing a wee trailer today. My videos are usually half an hour long. Now look at that. Wiggle, wiggle. Do you remember the song? Wiggle it just a little bit. Wanna hear you wiggle it just a little bit. Give me age away there now, classic 90s. But um, there we are. Now that there is an everyday kind of au naturel look. Now, of course, as time goes on, I'll be showing you how to do the the gorgeous bronzers and stuff, like, um, what do you call it? Um, contouring and stuff. And showing you this wee Estee Lauder shit I have there, it's magnificent. And all you do, you know, wee bit here, this is just to give you, wee, as I say, wee trailer down like that there, down on the side of the face, and then a little brush like this here. What do you see the difference now, girls? What do you see? And um, boys, if you are watching, if you are interested in Shiv Babe's just beautiful makeup channel, do you see the difference there already? But you don't want to be leaving big lines, do you know what I mean? You don't want to be leaving lines. So what I do is, um, we're doing the C-shape here, okay? We're doing that there. And then we're going to do and at the bottom but i'll show you that another day okay there we are look at that now what i'm doing is see that there big, big fluffy brush just do that there now a lot of people use a separate bronzer but what i do is i go on like that there right then i go like that end of the brush remember like that there and around the bottom but watch what i do as well i just give a wee a wee skate over like that there and it's just a soft peach colour then. So you've got your definition there, like, you know. And But what I want to show you as well today, just really quickly, is the way you can oomph and va va voom your day makeup without really, really focusing too much on overemphasising lines and stuff. Would you see this? This is just a wee rummel, exaggerate uh, eyeliner. Okay, look at that. And all I'm going to do is an under eye, right? not an under, sorry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look down into the mirror and just from the edge, flick the brush a wee bit. Just flick it a wee bit gently. You can start off slowly doing this. And then, now what I do is I only go halfway over, okay? Because what I find is if you just go halfway over, it's very pretty for during the day. If you're wearing eyelashes and 
more things, you know, like eyelashes and you want the va va voom for at night, you know. So what I do then is I just get a wee flick at the end. Some people do it the other way around. I just do it that way. Whereas some people flick it out this way and equally you can do that. But I just love taking it from the outside corner because you can use the top of the brush. Now I'm going to give you a big Egyptian eye that I look at that, but only taking it halfway on. Now look at that. You can't tell me that isn't beautiful. And anyway then, if you want to, after you put on your wee eyeliner, what you can do is get your wee mascara wand again and just to lift that eye, what you just did. Look, isn't that, isn't that lovely? Look. What am I not? No, look. And under again, just give it a wee flick like that there. See that there? Just a wee. And under, give it a wiggle. Easiest way from an under. Then you're not putting mascara all over your eyelid. Anyway, my dears. Now, do you see that there? I'm just looking there. See, because I give it an Egyptian look the day. A wee bit of that, I think, um, thing is just going up there at the corner. But not to worry. You can always soften that. But anyway, that is just a wee precursor and a wee trial video of what I'm going to be doing now in the near future. And um, look at the hair. But you know what? The hair's fine because we're not talking about the hair today. Look what we're going to do. Do you see even the difference in them two sides of the face? Look at the wee bit with the definition and the bronzer. Do you know what I mean? Because you need to put the bronzer there and there. Okay. You need to put the bronzer there and there and there and there and then. But I always put it on with a smaller brush at first like this here. And then soften it with a big powder brush, okay? Far nicer. And you can't tell me, girls, you wouldn't love that, wouldn't you? Look at that. Okay, bring it to everybody then. Anyway, as you know, you know where I am. I'm gonna put out this on social media today for all my friends and family and all the people who have been asking me and inundating me with questions on when am I going to start Siobhan's Beauty Bar again. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my wee trailer. It'll give you a feeler for what I'm like and what I do. And we'll get more glammed up as time goes on, okay? So until next time, um, au revoir, and I hope to see you all very soon. So um, goodbye for now and tune in, okay? Whenever you want and how many times you want. And it's all about fun and learning makeup artistry. Okay, bye for now.